Bubble sort. Bubble sort is an algorithm used to sort a sequence of numbers. The scale at the right end of the sequence will compare the numbers on their left and right sides. In this case, we will compare 7 and 6. After comparing them, if the number on the right is found to be smaller than the left, then the numbers will be swapped. In this case, 6 is smaller than 7, so the numbers got swapped. After comparison is finished, the scales move one position to the left and the numbers are compared once again. This time 6 is greater than 4, so the numbers won't get swapped, so the scale moves one position to the left. This operation repeated until the scales reach to the left end of the sequence. So in this case 4 is less than 8, so the numbers are swapped. Then we, con we continue to the left, and in this case 4 is greater than 2, no swap will occur. And this process will continue to the left end of the list. When the scale has reached the left end of sequence, in one round of operation, the smallest value in the sequence has moved to the left edge and the number on the left edge is considered fully sorted. And the scale is moved back to the right edge, so the same operation are repeated until all numbers are fully sorted. So in this case, we compare 6 with 7 and no swap will occur, and 6 with 8 then we will swap the numbers, then 4 to 6, no swap will occur, then we continue uh, 2 to 4 and no swap will occur, and here we have 2 less than 3, then swap will occur, then we continue to the left, and 2 is less than 9, and the swap will occur, and again 2 is less than 5, and the swap occurs, and now in the second round we found out that 2 is fully sorted. Then we continue to the right again. Here we compare 7 with 8 and the 7 is less than 8 then we the swap will occur and we continue to the left. 7 is greater than 6 no swap will occur. Then we continue to the left again and 6 is greater than 4 no swap will occur and we continue again to the left. 4 also is greater than 3 no swap will occur. But here, the swap will occur because 3 is less than 9. So we change the numbers. Then again, 3 is less than 5, and the swap will occur. And here, 3 is considered fully sorted. Then we, again, we continue to the right. 8 is greater than 7, which means that no swap will occur. And 7 is greater than 6. And here again, no swap will occur. And in this case also no swap will occur. But here 4 is less than 9, which means that swap will occur. And again 4 is less than 5, and the 4 will move to the left. And 4 is, fully consi 4 is considered fully sorted. Then again we move to right. 8 again is greater than 7, which means that no swap will not occur. And we continue to the left. Again here we will not have any swap. But here we will have because 6 is less than 9. So we will change the numbers. And we will compare, we will continue to compare. We see that uh, 5 is less than 6 and no swap will occur and 5 will be considered as fully sorted. Then again we move to the right. We compare 7 and 8 and here no swap will occur. But here we will swap the numbers because 7 is less than 9. Then we continue to the left, and here we will see that 6 is already fully sorted. And then we move to the right again, we compare 8 with 9, and 8 is less than 9, which means that the swap will occur. Then we compare, then we continue to the left again, and here we see that 7 is fully sorted. Then we continue to the right, we compare 8 with 9, we see that 9 is greater than 8, which means that 8 is fully sorted. 
and then we check 9 and 9 is also fully sorted and our sort is complete here bubble sort has many of same properties as insertion sort but has slightly higher overhead in the case of nearly sorted data bubble sort takes o n time complexity but it requires at least two passes through the data bubble sort is very useful where we know that the data is very nearly sorted say only two elements are out of place then in one pass bubble sort will finish it and in in the second pass it will see everything is sorted and then exit only takes two passes of the array the primary advantage of bubble sort is that it's popular and easy implementation easy to implement furthermore in bubble sort elements are swapped in one pl in place without using additional temporary storage so the space requirement is at a minimum the main disadvantage of bubble sort is the fact that it does not deal well with a list containing huge number of items this is because bubble sort requires n squared processing steps for every n number of elements to be sorted as such bubble sort is mostly suitable for academic teaching not for the real life applications selection sort it's another algorithm that is used to sort a sequence of numbers Using a linear search, the smallest value in the sequence is located and this value swaps with leftmost number and it's considered fully sorted. So in our case, we are doing linear search through this sequence and we have found out that the smallest value is 1. So we will swap 1 with 5, which is in the leftmost position. So 1 is considered fully sorted. If the smallest value happens to be in the leftmost position, no operation is carried out. Then the same operation are repeated until all numbers are fully sorted. We are, con we are continuing to do the linear search. And we found out that 2 is the minimum number in existing sequence. Then we swap 2 with the 7 and 2 is considered fully sorted. Then we do the same operation for the rest of sequence and we found out that 3 is the minimum in the sequence so we sub up 3 with 4 which is in the leftmost position. Then the same operation carries out in the remaining numbers and we found out that 4 is the minimum here and 4 is located in the leftmost position so no operation will be carried out so the same operation will be carried for the rest of numbers and in this case 5 is minimum and we swap 5 with the 8 then we are continuing to do the same operation for the rest of numbers and we see that 6 is minimum and 6 is located in the leftmost position of the remaining numbers so it is considered fully sorted there are three numbers left so we will do uh, linear search among these numbers so seven is minimum so we will replace seven with eight then we are doing same operation for nine and eight numbers and eight is smaller than nine so they will swap their place then for 9 we will do the same operation and the only number is left is 9 so 9 is considered fully sorted the selection sort works by repeatedly going through the list of items each time selecting an item according to its ordering and placing it in the correct position in the sequence the main advantage of selection sort is that it performs well on small lists. Furthermore, because it is in an in-place sorting algorithm, no additional temporary storage is required beyond what is needed to hold the original list. The primary disadvantage of selection sort is its poor efficiency when dealing with a huge list of items. Similar to the bubble sort, the selection sort requires n-squared number of steps for sorting n elements. 
Additionally, its performance is easily influenced by the initial ordering of the items before sorting process. Because of this, the selection sort is only suitable for a list of few elements that are in random order. Insertion sort. In insertion sort, when we begin, the leftmost number is considered fully sorted. Then from the remaining numbers, the leftmost number is taken out and compared to the already sorted number to its left and if the already sorted number is larger, the two numbers swap. This operation repeats until either a number smaller appears or the number reaches to the left edge. In this case, 5 is considered fully sorted and then 3 is taken out and compared with 5 and 5 is greater than 3 then the two numbers will be swapped and the number reached to the left edge so it stops there and considered fully sorted in our case 3 is fully sorted then again the leftmost number from the remaining numbers is taken out and compared to the number to its left so 5 is greater than 4 so the numbers will be swapped and 3 is less than the 4 which means that a smaller number has appeared so the 4 stops there and 4 is considered fully sorted the same operation is repeated until all numbers are fully sorted okay then we continue to take out 7 and we compare it with 5 and we see that it's greater than 5 and no swap will be occurred then we continue to take out 2 and we compare it with 7 and we see that it's less than 7 so they will be swapped and again 2 is compared with 5 and we see that it's less than 5 and it continues to swap and again same operation will be done here which is uh, comparing 4 with 2 and 2 is less than 4 and they are swapped and finally we will compare 2 with 3 and 2 is less than 3 and they, they will swap and we will place 2 in the left edge of the sequence and which is considered fully sorted then we take out 8 and we compare it with 7 we see that it's greater than 7 and no swap will be occurred and then we continue to take the rest of numbers and the left edge number is 6 and we take out 6 and we compare it with 8 we see that it's less than 8 and we swap them and it continues to con compare with 7 and it's less than 7 and the place will be swapped so if we compare it with 5 we see that it's greater than 5 which means that no swap will occur and we place 6 here between 5 and 7 then we take out 9 and we see that it's greater than 8 and no swap will occur then we take out 1 and we see that 1 is less than 9 and these numbers will be swapped and it continues to compare with 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 2, 3 and 2 and after 2 there is no number to be compared and 1 is placed in the left edge of the sequence and after this operation the sequence is considered fully sorted Finally, all numbers are fully sorted. The sorting is complete. The insertion source repeatedly scans the list of items, each time inserting the item in an order sequence in its correct position. The main advantage of insertion sort is its simplicity. It also exhibits a good performance when dealing with a small number of lists. The insertion sort is an in-place sorting algorithm, so the space requirement is minimal. The disadvantage of insertion sort is that it does not perform as well as other sorting algorithms. With n squared steps required for every n element to be sorted, the insertion does not deal with a huge list. Therefore, the insertion is particularly useful when sorting a list of few items. Merge sort Merge sort is an algorithm to sort sequences of numbers. First, the sequence is divided further and further into halves. When division is complete, the next thing we will do to combine divided groups. 
When doing so, each group's numbers are arranged so that they are ordered from smallest to largest after combination. When groups with multiple numbers are combined, the first numbers are compared. In our case, we compare 4 with 3, and 4 is greater than 3, so that 3 is moved first. Then with remaining numbers, we compare first numbers again. In this case, we compare 4 with 7, and we see that 4 is less than 7, so 4 is moved. And we again compare 6 with 7, and we see that 6 is less than 7, and we move the 6. And finally, remaining number is 7, and the 7 is moved. The combining of groups is repeated recursively until all numbers from one group is finished. Then we continue to combine right group, which are here. In this case, we compare 1 with 2, and 1 is smaller, so it's moved first. Then we compare 2 to 5. Then we see that 2 is less than, then 2 is moved and 5 is moved. Finally, we combine the last two groups. Again, here we compare first elements and smaller one is moved. So the first element from left group is 3 and the from the right group is 1. So 1 is less than 3, so 1 is moved. Then we compare 2 with 3 and 2 is moved and we continue like this. And after combining the groups, we see that our sequences are sorted. There are many advantages and disadvantages of merge sort. One of the main advantages is that it's quicker for large lists, because unlike insertion and bubble sort, it does not go through whole list several times. And the second advantage is it has a consistent runtime, carries out different bits with similar times in a stage. Disadvantages. It's slower compared to other sort algorithms for smaller tasks. It goes through the whole process even, even the list is sorted. Uses more memory space to store sub-elements of the initial split list. Quicksort. Quicksort is another type of sort algorithms for sorting sequence of numbers. One characteristic of quicksort is that it involves fewer comparisons and swaps compared to other algorithms, so it's able to sort quickly in many cases. Let's take a look at the algorithm in action. The first operation targets the entire sequence of numbers, a number chosen as a reference for sorting. This number is called pivot. The pivot is normally a number chosen at random. This time for convenience, let's choose the rightmost number as a pivot which is 6. A marker will be placed on the pivot for easy reference. Here. The next thing that we are going to do is to place a left marker on the leftmost number and the right marker on the rightmost number. So in our case, the leftmost number is 3 and the rightmost number is 7. So the quick sort algorithm uses these markers to repeatedly perform rounds of operation recursively. First, left marker will move to the right. In each step, compare the number with pivot number. Here we compare 6 with 5, and we see that 5 is less than 6. Then we continue to move right. When it reaches a number that's greater or equal to the pivot number, in our case, pivot number is 6, and it stops moving here. Here, 8 is greater than 6, and that's why we stop here. Then the right marker will move to the left, and this time when it reaches a number that is less than the pivot number, it stops. So in the next, in the next move, we see that 4 is less than 6, so the right marker stopped moving. When both left and right markers are stopped, the markers numbers are swapped, so here we, we swap 8 with 4. In this way, the left marker acts to find numbers that are greater or equal to the pivot, and the right marker finds the numbers less than the pivot, and by swapping these numbers, 
we can gather numbers that are less than the pivot on the left side of sequence and the numbers that are greater than the pivot on the right side. After swap, the left marker continues to moving to the right. Here again, we are, we are comparing one with six and we see that one is less than six. So uh, we continue to move right. Again, two is less than six. So left marker will not stop here. It will continue to write. When it reaches to the nine, it will stop here because nine is greater than six. And once again, the right marker is moving to the left. The movement stops and the right marker runs into the left marker. When both left and right markers stop in the same position, the number is swapped with the pivot number. So the numbers are occupied by left and right markers is considered fully sorted. This completes the first round of operations. So with one round of operation, we were able to put numbers smaller than the pivot to the left of the pivot number and the numbers that are larger than the pivot to the right of the pivot number. As, as you see from the list, these numbers are less than six and these numbers on the right are greater than six. The next round of operation will be performed recursively on the both sequences created by division. So we will perform first operation on the left sequence to the left of division. So the left and right markers are placed and our pivot number in this case is two. So the same process uh, as before is performed. The number in the left, which is three, compared to the pivot number, we see that three greater than two. So the left marker stopped here. So we continue from right side. Here also we see one is less than two. Then the right marker stopped here and we swap these two number. Then the left marker continue to the right and five is greater than two and it stops here. And from right side, the right marker moves to the left as we look for the numbers that is that are less than two. Here we see that four is greater than two. It means the right marker continues to the left and it reaches to the left marker. This means that we will swap the current number, which is five with the number with the pivot number, which is two in our case. And this, this round of operation is complete. And two is considered fully sorted. Here again, we were able to divide the sequence into numbers, smaller than the pivot to the left of the pivot and the, the numbers that are greater than the pivot to the right of pivot. Another round of operation will be repeated recursively. In the left side of division here, we see that there's only one number. In this case, it's considered fully sorted. Okay, let's perform operation on the right side of the division for these three numbers, four, three, five. The left, right and pivot markers are placed here. The left marker starts to move to the right and we see that three is less than five. So we continue to the right. Please notice that even the left marker runs into the right marker. It does not stop here. It differs from the right market in this respect. And when it reaches the rightmost edge of the targeted sequence, it stops. This means that the pivot number is the largest number in the targeted sequence. The next stage is that the right marker should move, but it finishes without moving because it has been passed by the left marker. So in this case, the pivot number is considered fully sorted because the left marker has reached the rightmost edge of the targeted sequence and the round operation ends. Hereafter, the same operation will be repeated until all the numbers are fully sorted. In this case, four is greater than three, then we swap them and they are sorted. In the last round, we continue the same process, selecting pivot number, left and right markers. The left marker moves till the end of sequence because there is no any bigger number than nine. 
and the right marker remains in its position because it's passed by left marker so 9 is considered fully sorted and we repeat same operation for 8 and 7 and we swap them finally only 8 left it's considered fully sorted because it's the only number left in the sequence So our sequence is fully sorted. The quick sort is regarded as the best sorting algorithm. This is because of significant advantage in terms of efficiency. It's able to deal with huge list of items. Because it stores in place, no additional storage is required as well. The slight disadvantage of quick sort is that its worst case performance is similar to the average performance of bubble insertion and selection sort. In general, the quicksort produces the most effective and widely used method of sorting a list of any